despite having so many companies and therefore so many people who've come through the system, uh, you still have a really loyal group of people who stayed with you yeah. through this whole process. What do you think makes for a, uh, for a CEO who can attract great talent and engenders the loyalty mm -hmm. of those people? I think a lot of it is just treating people fairly, um, you know, setting an example for them. I mean, look, I think people want to work for someone who is, is working hard, is ethical, cares for them. So are they sitting there and thinking, you know what, I, uh, I care about you and how you do personally. Mm -hmm. And so that matters a lot. We found that even in tough times, when DoubleClick had to go through layoffs, industry was going badly, that when people left, it was because it was their manager. Mm -hmm. If they thought their manager liked them and thought they were great and working with them, they would hang in there a long time. But once that did, once the man, they lost the manager, then it was all over with. And it was the manager, not the two levels above, no, not the, the manager. CEO. It's the manager. CEO plays a role too, but day to day, you know, they're getting their compensation, their encouragement, their criticism. It's all coming from their manager. And so we can see the differences. One thing that I track, if I have turnover in one area, mm -hmm. I don't wait very long. I have a manager problem. Hmm. And so one of your key metrics of people is what's the turnover? Absolutely. We monitor that everywhere. I, in every one of my companies, when they get to a certain size, I chair the compensation committee. Mm -hmm. And the thing that we go over every time is you know, why every single person left mm -hmm. and where were they. Is it regrettable, non-regrettable, what happened there, trying to see patterns. Because that's like, that's like the canary in the coal mine. You know, Zola is a great example of a company that had almost no turnover in six years of senior people. Whereas other companies are like, oh, it's so competitive, I don't know, lots of people leave, and it doesn't happen, it's all up. So, you know, often people will say I left because there was this better offer, mm -hmm. they were offering me 6% of the company and I had mm -hmm. only 2% here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, your experience seems to be that that's not the real reason people leave. It's not the real reason, but at the same time, you know, you need to look at your team all the time and say, what, how much would I pay if I had to go out and, and find a new person here? Mm -hmm. And including I, the CEO? Including the CEO, absolutely. Okay. And so some companies just think, oh, we hired you, you agreed to take whatever 1% yeah. uh, three years ago, so that's it. But if someone else is, if you're now worth 2% in the market, I need to offer you 2% or eventually you're going to leave. Hmm. So it's not the only factor, hmm. but I need to adjust to market, you know, pretty carefully. And so sometimes I have battles with, you know, VCs on the board and they're like, you know, this person didn't ask for anything else. I'm like, yeah, but I need to get in the right ball. I need to feel, when you walk in one day and say, I got a much higher offer, mm -hmm. it should be that I say, you know what? That doesn't work for us. We're not going to match that uh, because we don't think you're worth that. Not, oh my God, I should have paid you that all along. Right. Let me match that right now. Right. I think that's almost insulting to you. If I'm paying you 100000 and then all of a sudden you get another offer, I'm willing to pay you 250 but right. why didn't I pay you that before? Right. You know, at least 200 and so I think about that all the time. And do you do that on a formal you know, employee survey kind of thing, or is it just by the managers knowing each of their employees and having a sense of the market? So I'm going to get only involved with the CEO yeah. and the, you know, his direct reports. Um, the CEO needs to be thinking about for the whole company, but my <coughs> major responsibility is to make sure that team stays, is coherent, is fairly paid, and we spend a lot of time on that. And you know, sometimes yeah. you don't get it right, but. I've had very, very little turnover in that team for any